My name's Aitor Throop. I'm an artist, designer and creative director. I've been working as the creative director for Damon Albarn's first ever solo record. I've been working on all the visuals, and videos. It kind of started about a year ago, I guess, when I sat down in the studio with Damon and with Richard, and really sort of seeing the work evolve naturally and seeing it being born, you know, it's a beautiful experience. All I tried to do for months, literally, was just absorb the process that they were going through, you know, and I'd spent quite a lot of time talking to Damon about what his intentions were for, for specific songs, for individual songs, but also for the piece as a whole. I started trying to, to basically build symbols and metaphors and visual systems that could get to the core of what he was trying to put across. And at the same time, have this very um, personal focus on him as an individual, you know, his, his first solo album. Everything was born out of, um, of that time, really, in the studio, and of knowing him personally um, and trying to interpret him as a person and him as an artist. The video for Everyday Robots, I think for me it was important from the beginning to, to get across this, this kind of um, balance and at times contradiction that Damon has and Damon's work has. There's an element of it that is very um, ancient, almost very connected to nature, the sort of timeless essence of just be it the universe or Mother Earth or uh, ancient rituals. But there's also an aspect of him where he has always embraced technology. And out of that, this kind of breathing, moving, um, digital portrait of him was born using digital software and uh, sort of facial reconstruction techniques. The idea of basically deconstructing Damon Albarn and reconstructing him. The process of that to be the value of what you see, to not just be the, you know, the beautiful skin and the layer on top at the end. For you to see that everything comes from, you know, from somewhere else. I just really fell in love with this idea of doing a very personal, um, isolated portrait of him as an artist and him as an individual. That in itself is a metaphor for a solo artist going alone. It's just his head, you know, it's, a, it's literally a portrait. But also in a way that reflects this this kind of antagonism in a way between nature and technology.